Today is Wednesday, February the 1st. And you're here with, with your host, Dr. Mary Seegers. With Today is Sunday. Wednesday, February the 1st. And you're here with, with your host, Dr. Mary Seegers. With Today Sunday. is Wednesday, February the 1st. And you're here with... with Sorry about the technical difficulties here. <laughs> I just want to share with you that today is Wednesday, February the 1st already. So the first 31 days of this year, 2023, is gone, never to return. And so we just want to say welcome, February. We're here with new goals, new, new ideals, new thoughts. And so, but before we talk about what's happening in February, you know the drill. Grab your coffee cup. Mm. Thanks to my husband for this freshly brewed coffee every morning. And grab your tea, water, and orange juice and join in on the conversation. I tell you, you know, 2023 came in here. Uh, I'm in the East Coast. And so we've had a lot of cold weather. We had a lot of beautiful snow. And so when I think about Florida, as my coffee cup says, I'm thinking about I should be there right about now, right? <laughs> but let's talk about February. As you've seen um, from last month, we were talking about the vision board and what do you want to do for 2023. And perhaps you had on that vision board, you want to buy a new home. Your dream home is yet to be uh, uh, waiting for you. Or perhaps you want to sell your home and downsize and move to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, we're going to talk about the real estate market this month. I'll be having in some prominent brokers, professional real estate uh, uh, salespeople that can tell you the, the pulse of the market, tell you what's going on. And then the very last Sunday, uh, last Wednesday of this month, we're going to talk with the professional mortgage people and, and the title company. So you can find out your whole package, what do you need to do to either sell your home and relocate or either buy a new home and, and what is the price of the homes and things like that. But before we get into that, I wanted to share my, my screen with you because February also let us know that it's Black History Month. And it's more than a month, it's a lifetime. Black history is everyone's history, right? And so I want you to encourage your children and your grandchildren, let them know about our ancestors, the great things that we've done uh, for this great nation, for one another, the inventions that we've done. I can remember when my grandchildren were younger, we, they had an assignment for the month of February, and we would always discover someone new, you know, not the normal, normal ones like Martin Luther King and all that. Uh, but we would have some digs, did some history digging. And I remember my granddaughter, when she was young, she did um, an event about Obama, you know, when he first started and all, all the way up to presidency. And I still have that scrapbook. It's a very beautiful book that she made. She got an A in the project. Uh, in school, but plus she's also informed us about it at home. And then my grandson, he's always been very athletic. He loves basketball. So he knew a lot about all of the, the great uh, basketball uh, heroes, uh, Michael Jordan and, and just Magic Johnson and all of that. And so we need to know that they can inspire uh, to do great things that we can also inspire to do great things. So let's remember our uh, Black History Month uh, read a, a new person you haven't read about, share with your children, share with your grandchildren, and, and even for us as adults, you know, sometimes we, we think, oh, I've learned everything I can learn. But there's always new learnings that we can take in as well and grow as a person. And then, of course, we know February the 14th is the love month. So many people will get married in February. So many people were engaged or got proposed to on, on Valentine's Day. But I think this way, don't just let February, Valentine's Day, be a day that you show love to your loved ones. My husband and I are constantly telling one another we love one another, not only saying it, but we show it to one another. Takes me out to surprise lunches. I take him out to surprise dinners. We just do things to show each other love. And so can I encourage you, if you have loved ones, you know, don't wait until you buy Valentine's card to say, I love you thinking of you, but make sure that you share that love, express that love, because tomorrow's not promised. Uh, from the beginning of this year, we've had a lot of uh, incidents in our family running to the hospital and praying for loved ones, uh, because 
it happened just so quick. And so you want to share with one another, your loved ones, your, your daughters, your, your sons and your granddaughters, your grandsons, tell them that you love them. And more than that, just don't tell them, show them. I have a real dear girlfriend uh, whose birthday was last month and I wasn't able to get with her. I said, we're going to, I want to show you that I love you and I appreciate you being in my life since what, nine and 10 years old. We've been friends through thick and thin. I love her dearly as a sister. And I spoke with her a couple of days and I said, I have a new restaurant. I want to take you to, we're going to just have girl time. We're just going to have fellowship time. We're going to have uh, time to spend lunch uh, with her and to share and catch up on what she's doing in her life. And she want to catch up what I'm doing. And that's just showing love. You know, love is more than talk. Those three words, I love you, but to express it and to show it and to let them know that they're dear and special in your heart. And then of course, February, like I mentioned earlier, that dream home that you have, and so many times, you know, you see things on the internet and there's a lot of trickery on the internet. There's a lot of scams that goes on in the uh, internet. It's always been like that. It always will be. But I wanted to connect with some professional people that can help you get your dream home without a lot of hassle. I am also a realtor as well, a professional realtor. And my business so that I get referrals. I mean, my business from referrals because I've treated my former clients in excellence. And they said, you need a realtor, call my realtor. And so I know that I'm adding value to people. I'm giving them the, um, the, the facts about uh, uh, house hunting and all of that whole nine yards. So next week on the 15th of February, I want you to join me, please. And be sure to listen to some prominent brokers who their life is, they eat and breathe uh, real, estate, real estate. And so they'll give us the skinny on what's happening in the real estate market now. You know, it goes up and down. One while it was a seller's market and there was a demand for, uh, people were paying uh, $20,000 more than what they were asking for. Why? Because there was a shortage of homes. And so uh, they, they hit the market, you know, scarcity will allow you to raise the prices. And so I think it's gone down a little bit where <clears throat> more homes are on the market. There's um, many buyers out there that are searching and looking for a home. And so you want to hear the real deal. Join in next week when I have these from uh, prominent brokers who will share and speak their truth about what's going on. Because every now and again, we hear it on the news flash, you know, the real estate market, and then we won't hear anything else. But these people are working in the trenches every day. They know exactly what's going on. They have the heartbeat, the pulse, if you will, of, of the market. And, and they've seen things, they've out there. Uh, so maybe you want to just rent a, what about leasing a loft or leasing an apartment, leasing a, a townhome or a condo? You'll get all that information on the 8th of February on the 15th. You talk to the professional realtors. Uh, I have uh, women and men from all over that would just share their knowledge and their wisdom to really give you the real uh, skinny, if you will, on what's happening out in the real estate market. And so I want you to join in, bring your bring your friends as your colleagues and your, your spouse or people who may be interested in the real estate. Uh, maybe some people want to go into the real estate profession. That's another thing that uh, we'll talk about the month of February. And then, of course, the mortgage. What about the rates? Are the mortgage rates going up? Is the interest rates going up? Uh, will I be able to uh, have a um, payment where I can include my insurance, my taxes, all in one? Do I have to have an escrow? All of that will be explained to all of the audience because I am a stickler about this. We need wisdom for everyday living. And so we live and breathe here. So we need to have experts that will come in and give us some wisdom nuggets. So that's what you can look for in February because you're going to get the experts and the professionals who will tell you uh, the real deal, what's going on in the real estate market. And so with that, I don't have much uh, to say other than that. I'm just wanting to come out and, and just share with you about February. I'm so excited about that. Uh, in fact, today is February 1st. Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month. And because I retired from General Motors, um, we have a luncheon for all the retirees. So I said, I'm gonna come on quickly and share the good news about what, what they can look for in February. I want you to tune in, you know, be sure to tune in. You can subscribe to Wisdom Wednesday podcast on all of the podcast platforms. I'm on Google, Apple, Anchor, Spotify, 
all of the platforms so you can hear it audibly as well as listen to it on the Facebook Live where we have the, a video of the podcast. So until next week, uh, one week from today, you'll hear about uh, hear about the brokers and how we can get your dream home or if you want to sell that home and downsize, which is very common thing now for a lot of the uh, baby boomers. You know, we had the beautiful colonial, we had the, now we want something, one floor, a ranch. And so they'll give you the skinny about what's going on as far as homes availability and what's out there. So have a great day. Enjoy your your February 1st, welcome it with new, new, new ideals, new, new goals, and just with the open mind to learn new things. So we'll see you next week. Bye for now.